welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV. Today I'm going to show you how we can load and play video directly in EMGU CV. Particularly some features that I want to add is uh, just give a media player like effect. Then we have we should have the play, pause and stop buttons. And we will display our track bar to display the frame number. And optionally we can also save the current frame to our hard disk. So how we can do that? Let's see in the implementation. I have already created a project and I configured it to use EMG UCV 3.3. If you are not sure how to configure it, you can see one of my previous videos. Let me add a new Windows form to the project. Right click on the project, go to Add and then Windows Form. I'll call it Form Load All Frames. Okay. And then Add. So first let me design this form to give a media player like effect. So it looks like a media player and now we can code it. So file and a double click on open. The first thing that I need to do is to uh, using statements to include this EMGU CV. So using EMGU.CV and EMGU using EMGU.CV.structures and then here I need some variables that I can use in my the code so the first thing is the video capture i call this as capture and also a boolean value to check if it is media is currently playing currently i will set it to false then uh, an integer value representing the total frames in the video and also uh, representing the current frame number being played and I'll create a made object current frame to hold the current frame that is just being displayed on the picture box and also oh, we can get information about the frames per second so that we can display the video images with the same speed almost same speed as the video so i let the user to select a file so to do that i'll create an open file dialog object first and then maybe optionally you can provide like open file dialog dot filter you can set the filter that what kind of files the user is allowed to select for example i want video files and like dot mp4 or maybe dot flv Oops. okay 
so the format is you provide a description then put a vertical bar and then provide the actual extension dot mp4 if you have multiple you provide uh, put the semicolon dot for example flv and then we will show this file dialog to the user show dialog if he selects it then the dialog result should be dot okay once we uh, once he selects the video then we can read it using the capture object so capture equals is this the capital capture i don't think that this is the capture that i want no capture equals new video capture and then pass the path of the uh, file that has been selected by the user is into the constructor then i want to read the total frames we have in the video and i need to convert it into uh, in 32 and capture small capture it is giving me the other capture so that is totally wrong Hmm, because this one is the control let me rename this variable not use capture i call it video capture in small and it's okay and rename it everywhere that you have used sorry video capture that's better and you can rename it everywhere that you have so to make sure that you have the video capture i call it video capture dot get property which property i want to read is the frame count so this will give me the total frames that i have in the video since this one is giving a double i converted it into an integer and assign it to total frames so similarly i can do for the frames per second equals to convert dot two in 32 and then i can use the video capture dot get property and here i want to read the frames per second property that's it great and then we need the current frame number the current frame okay since it is playing so is playing i will set it to true and uh, current frame equals new current frame i want to read this current frame into this so i will create an object for this and also we need this current frame number so current frame number equals to zero i want to read the zeroth frame right now because i am just opening the video so we set all of the required properties and now i want to create a function actually to play the video and to display them in my picture box so to do that let me create a new function private void play video what it will do is just grade these uh, picture boxes and then display them on my picture box one more thing that i forgot to mention since i have used this uh, track bar i should also initialize the track bar as well the minimum of the track bar should be track bar one dot minimum equals zero and the track bar one dot maximum equals to frame count total frames total frames minus one because it is starting from zero and the current value we can set that track bar one dot value equals zero sorry value equals zero that's great and the first thing that i need to check is if it is video capture equals equals null don't do anything just return and it is better to put the code inside the try catch block if we face any problem in case mb tab tab and then i can show the message 
over here that's great now let's go here read the frame and display it in the picture box but I need to go in a while loop to read all of I want to read all of this frames present in the image so what I need to do is playing equals equals true okay and also one more condition and the current frame number is less than total frames I mean I have frames to read then I should be able to read it logically and now I will uh, what I will do video capture dot set video uh, capture property dot position of the frame that I want to read which frame I want to read is the current frame number that is great why I need to do this is if I change the track bar the frame number will change so I want to read that frame number so we will see that later and once I have done all of these things then I'm ready to read it into current frame and a picture box one dot picture sorry image equals current frame dot bitmap that's interesting this is all what it will do read the uh, video frames and uh, put them in the picture box but since our user interface thread is running on a different thread it will not be able to display and we will not be able to see until this while loop is finishing so we introduced a concept called asynchronously we will call it and then we will use the keyword await and we will put some uh, delay in the task current task so that we can see the picture box updated on our thread so we divide these uh, one second by the frames per second and then this one will give an impression like if we are smoothly playing the video and before waiting we can also do this task bar uh, sorry trait bar dot value equals current frame number and then we update this current frame number plus equals one we we need to read one by one frame and then track bar will also be updated and then we are reading one at a time and going onwards so this is the play video function and now what will happen if we play the button so the first thing that i need to do is if video capture is not equal to no i should say is playing equals true and then call this function play video and if it is not the case then we can set this playing equals false and similarly for the pause we just need to make sure that is playing equals false we shouldn't play it in and what should we do for the stop button the, for the stop button it is more interesting so is playing should be false of course we are stopping it second thing is the current frame number should be zero it means whatever we have read we are going to stop it the third thing that we have is the track bar dot value should be equals to zero again reset it and the picture box dot image is set to now we we don't have any image to display so that i what i want to do picture box dot invalidate it will redraw itself once we stop it so let's see our results let me play it so here is the output and let me click file open and select a video it is not showing anything okay and i also need to do some changes here mm, where is the open function oh i forgot to call this 
play video how is it gonna play for us so the last thing that we need to do is to play the video function so that it will read all of the uh, frames and also let me change the cursor for these buttons so that we can see that there is something they are active or not so I'll go and select the cursor let's say where is the hand tool and I want to double click on this trick bar and also make sure if video capture is not equal to null what I want to do is frame current frame number equals to trig bar dot value that's it what will be the net effect is since we are reading the current frame number in the video play as you can see its value will be changed and uh, the video capture will read the current frame number that we have set right here that's so simple and also if you want to capture the current frame you want to save it in, in, into somewhere in the disks then you can use this if video capture is not equal to null and current frame is not equal to null if we have captured some frame then I should be able to save it so I should say current frame dot save where I want to save it I can give a path for example D I I have some path over here so let me say I select this path and also now I want to give it a name for example uh, current frame number dot to string and then I attach dot jpg for example and let's play it file open news so it just loads the image and it starts to play and now if we change the track bar so you can see whichever the frame currently it has it reads that frame you can pause it play it whatever you want to do and also the interesting thing is the capture i just clicked on let me pause this and capture it again and it should create so here you can see that it read the current frame and also the next frame and it saves at this location we can also for example play it and let's say i want to save the prime minister of turkey once again and then here you see that the current frame numbers are being saved so here you go Binale Yildirim, I can see his images over here. So that's it from today's video and hope to see you in the next video.